Hi. Today we try to solve three questions and try to learn a concept. Your question is find the maximum value of n for which this is divided by 7 raised to power n. Find the number of training zeros. Find the maximum value of n for which this is divided by 2 raised to power n. Number of training zeros is nothing but the power of 10 which divides the number. So we need to divide this number by this number such that our remainder is always 0. When our divisor is something raised to power n, if our divisor is have a, some base and some power, then this is the question of binomial. So what is binomial theorem? Binomial theorem is the expansion of two terms, a plus b raised to power n, the expansion is this one, c and r is nothing but ncr, the combination terms. By putting b equal to 1, we finally get a plus b raised to power n is this terms we are only interested in last two terms. If we have the expansion of a plus 1 raised to power n is this much, so we can say a plus 1 raised to power n minus 1 means we have to subtract minus 1. These two would be cancelled out. We left with this one. So we can visualize from this terms that all terms of a plus 1 raised to power n minus 1 have a. The power start from a and and still a. So this complete is divisible by a. So a plus 1 raised to power n minus 1 is always divisible by a and the least power of a would be given by the last term because in the other terms the power of a is always a square a cube a4. So the least power of a is given by the last term and the last term is nothing but n into a. What is n? n is nothing but the power. If power multiplied by a we get the last term. This will talk about how many a's we can have in the all the terms, the minimum number of a's. The most important thing is a plus 1 raised to power n minus 1 is always divided by a and the last term which is nothing but the power into a will talk about the number of a's in this term. Okay, now check the question. Question number 1, 34449 4, minus 1. So we can say for the 3, 4, 4, 1, we can write that is 7 cube plus 1 raised to power 49 minus 1. And we are looking for number of 7s. So we just need to multiply 49 and the a. So 7 cube into 49 is nothing but 7 square will get 7 raised to power 5. So we can say this number is always divided by 7 raised to power 5. Use the same concept in this. We are looking for 10 raised to power something. Break this like 10 raised to power 6 minus 1 raised to power 100 minus 1. We are working with a plus 1 or minus 1 because minus 1 raised to power 100 is becomes the plus 1. Minus 1 raised to power even number is again the plus 1 and minus 1 cancel out. So everything should be determined by 10 raised to power 6 and the power. And the number of 10 would be given by the product of power and the base. So that is 10 raised to power 6 and 10 100 is nothing but 10 square. So that is 10 raised to power 8. So the answer of for this question would be there would be 8 training zeros. We have 3. So we have 2 conditions 2 raised to power 1 plus 1 or 2 square minus 1. Raised to power 10 0 2 4 raised to power 10 0 2 4. We need to work on the maximum value of n. So we have to work on a base which has maximum power of 2 and can cancel minus 1. Plus 1 raised to power anything is the plus 1 cancel out. Minus 1 raised to power even is again plus 1 cancel out. So we can work on both but we are looking for the maximum value. So we work on this number. 2 is square and power. So we can say the base is 2 is square. Power is 10. 24 is 2 raised to power 10. The multiplication is nothing but 2 raised to power 12. So the n should have maximum value is 12. Whenever you have question like this sort, the maximum value of this divide this value, just break the base in the divisors term plus 1 or minus 1, multiply the power by the base and get the answer. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubt, feel free to ping me either on Facebook or on this video thread. Thank you.